the fifth match. Mages presents K1 World Max 2011 63 kilogram Japan Final Tournament. The quarterfinal match in the blue corner at 168 centimeters, 63 kilograms. K1 World Max 2010 63 kilogram Japan Tournament third place finalist Kizaemon Saiga. In the red corner at 175 centimeters, 62.9 kilograms, K1 World Max 2010, 63 kilogram Japan Tournament finalist, Yuta Kuro! Referee Ogawa Minoru, Judge Tomotake Takao, Hirozumi Katsuya, Shiba Yoshinori. This is the third quarter final match against Kizaimon Saiga and Yuta Kubo. Both fighters sporting red trunks today. Makes it a little bit hard to keep them apart, but just watch the gloves, folks. Kizaimon Saiga in the blue and Yuta Kubo in the red. Saiga has some amazing karate kicks, but Kubo is an all-around genius when it comes to kickboxing. There's the bell, and the first round starts with a very humble bow from both fighters. President Tanikawa is saying that Kubo Yuta Excuse me, Yuta Kubo in the red is definitely a forerunner to win this entire championship. President Tanikawa is saying that Kubo is a fighter like, a lot like Petrosian. What do you think, Mike? Yeah, I agree. He's very methodical and he just slows it, slowly picks his opponents apart. Very, very methodical. You can really pick up on Saiga's personality just off that first few seconds of the round. That's a call to slip, with no down. Kubo showing off to Kizaimon exactly how what he's capable of. Very quick spinning kick and an axe kick from Kizaimon Saiga. <laughs> he gets his hand caught in the rope. Once again, Kubo was the runner-up last year in the under 63 kilogram tournament. Zaymon Saga in the blue said he was going to dominate that entire tournament because nobody was better than him. And he almost proved it. Sega's hands are questionable. Haven't really been tested. He uses a lot of kicks, obviously, coming from a karate background. I think Kubo has a much, much better hands than Saiga does in, in uh, you know, uh, like Mr. Tanikawa said, it's very similar to Petrosian, and it's really how Petrosian fights. It kind of goes slowly, and as the fight progresses, you're starting to make more and more mistakes, and you're starting to really capitalize on your mistakes. It's almost like he spends the first round studying his opponent and his habits, and it really starts to come back. Whereas Kizamon Saiga just goes full throttle from the very beginning. Those couple of knockdowns that Kubo has done, not, although not counted as down, those slip-ups are really getting Kizaimon mad. In the 63-kilogram class, Kubo is unique because of his southpaw, left-handed strikes, and just the very abnormal reach for somebody in this weight class. Very difficult opponent to go up against. Very big legs. Kubo has really massive legs for a 63 kilo fighter.
He's only 23. Give him a couple of more years, he'll fill up, start fighting at 70 kilos. Of Definitely something to look forward to. His opponent, Kizai Monsaiga, actually aged 22. One year younger than Kubo. And the judges call that last round even. the aggression coming off of Simon Saiga in the blue gloves. Very emotional fighter. Doesn't listen to the referee much either. Kubo methodically watching Saiga for any kind of opening. Start watching for Kubo. He's going to start to uh, capitalize on, on some of the mistakes that he saw um, Sega make in the first round. You're going to see a lot more, uh, a lot more output out of Kubo and a lot more aggression. Another break there, and he's getting warm for double clinching. What's your opinion of uh, Saiga, President Tanikawa? Mm, Saiga wants to get on the inside of Kubo, but can't seem to find his way in just because of Kubo's reach. What Saiga needs to start doing is timing that, that um, left kick and counting it with a straight right cross. Which is usually. Kubo would usually wait for his opponent to make his first strike, but today he's really just going all out. Neither fighter is the clear aggressor here today. But both are being very aggressive. It's a nice left cross there. Kubo is starting to get his timing now. He's going to start to he's going to start oh, to exploit his better stand up. I'm seeing more and more of that southpaw there. See, instead of catching that uh, um, left kick, he needs to counter it with a with a straight right cross. Saiga, right? Yes. Saiga's a big fan of catching that kick. Yeah, he's all good, the good he's of nowhere. He's not getting him anywhere. What he needs to do is just time it and counter it with a straight right cross. There's the end of the round. President Tanikawa commenting that Saiga is not landing very many hits and not really putting his hands out there on Kubo, who definitely has a superior height and range. But Saiga still has those tricky kicks that come out of nowhere. What did you think of that last round there, Mike Song? Well, I thought that I, I would give that round to Kubo. I don't know if uh, I don't know how the judges see it, but really he's taken Sega out of his element. Um, you know he's got superior striking. He's got superior reach. And he's usually fighting very tall. Sega really doesn't have much of an answer to it. And the judges give that last round to Kubo. Yeah, two judges and one judge gave it a draw. You know, Sega really needs to use the, the kicks that are coming from Kubo as a timer to get in and start throwing some hands. He's not going to win the kicking contest here. And instead of countering the left kick with his right cross, there comes the right there cross. Goes. Must have gotten some good advice from the second there. Oh, a low spinning kick there. There's 
手。逆に言うと木澤門選手が久保選手に先に攻撃させようとしてますね。カウンター狙ってますね。ヤンニカは言うと木澤門は狙ってますね。ヤンニカは言うと木澤門は狙ってますね。He needs to stop catching the left kick and just counter it with the right cross. I don't. I mean, he's. Ah, the 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 left kick is hitting him. He's holding him. Zaymon's head. Ah, the Kubo player's left kick is hitting him. He's holding him. Ah, the Kubo player's left kick is hitting him. He's holding him. Ah, the Kubo player's left kick is hitting him. He's holding him. Ah, the Kubo player's left kick is hitting him. He's holding him. Ah, the Kubo player's left kick is hitting him. He's holding him. Ah, the Kubo player's left kick is hitting him. He's holding him. Ah, the Kubo player's left kick is hitting him. He's holding him. ここからね、久保選手はハイキックが出てくるんですよね。ですね、タニカワ、saying that Kubo will now start throwing the high kicks now that he's worn down a bit。If Kubo s w o a there you go. Oh, the Brazilian kick didn't land though. That would have been a match point right there if that one had landed. Well, Kubo tenderized.、Uh, Sega's、uh, right side, which is forcing Sega to drop his hand down to protect it. That opens up for some good high kicks. With Kubo coming in with high kicks now, changing up his strategy. Ooh, a devastating hit to the side of the head there from Kubo to Sega. Those shots to the body from Kubo are definitely taking their toll. Yeah, a very Petrosian style. He uses a jab to hold the head and then comes in with a with a knee. Saiga is running out of time here. He needs to pull out something spectacular if he wants to take this. Coming in with a, a left hook. Is that right cross? Is the right cross he should have been throwing earlier? There it is again. Right cross. Ten seconds left. Ten seconds. We'll see. Spinning heel kick. Thunder kick. So. And it goes to decision. I could definitely watch another round of that. Yeah, I think Google will destroy it. I doubt you'll have a chance there. ですね。いやいや、いやいや、久保選手。ね、ちょっとあるかもしれませんけど。7回は First judge calling it for Kubo. Judge Kurosumi, 30 tai, 30 doro. Second judge giving it a draw. Judge Chiba, 30 tai, 29, Aka Kubo. And the third judge gives it to Kubo. The set of judges has been giving it a draw the whole time. Kubo advances to the second.